Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today I'm gonna give you 12 tips that are really gonna transform the way you use your Samsung Galaxy S10e, S10, or S10 Plus. And these features are really targeted towards if you're a lefty and you want a tip to be able to use your phone even better. If you would like to take the best pictures ever, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. If you would like to have the fastest phone ever, you'll wanna to watch this video. And if you wanna be able to have the best hearing experience, regardless of your age, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. So let's get right to it. Now it's been several weeks since uh, I've had the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the S10, and I wanted to share with you my 12 picks that are gonna cover all the areas that we just mentioned. These are gonna transform the way you're using your phone. It's gonna make it faster, it's gonna make it easier, you're gonna be able to hear better, you're gonna be able to see better. It's just gonna change the way you use it. So let's get right to the first tip. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So the first feature I'm going to show you is the lift to wake. The lift to wake allows you to pick up your phone and actually get into the phone much faster without having to press the power button. Now you do have a couple options. You can turn use your security to log in or you can use the face to unlock. But remember, face to unlock will unlock even with the picture. So stay away from that one. Let me show you how it works. So here I have my phone. I'm going to lift it. And as soon as I lift it, it turns on. In this case, just for this purpose, I'm showing you how it works with the face recognition. Let's set it up now. So let me show you how you're gonna turn on lift to wake. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings. I'm gonna type in lift to wake, and you notice I already have it here, so I'm gonna type it L-I-F-T, and it's gonna shortcut it right to that area. When I tap it, it's also going to kind of flash that area. As soon as you turn that on, you're gonna have the lift to wake feature enabled. Now there's another neat feature that I'm going to share with you, and that is double tap to wake. Now the double tap to wake is pretty cool because you can use that to see what's on your phone without having to turn it on or lift it. So what I'm gonna do is enable that so you can see how that works. I'm gonna turn off my phone, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double tap. And when I tap it, it turns on. Now, in this case, again, I have the face recognition on, so it went ahead and it logged me in because it saw me, but if you did not have that feature on, it would just turn it on and allow you to put in your pin. So that's tip two. So the next feature we're gonna talk about is dark mode. Let me show you something here. So as soon as I swipe down, you notice how this is dark here. If I swipe down again and I go over to night mode, now it's white. So everything on your phone is white when you go into your chats, when you go into your dialer. So what you can do is by turning on this night mode, all those areas will be turned to this uh, black setting. And what will happen is it will reduce you know, the dependency on the battery. So your battery is gonna last longer, plus it's going to make it easier to read even in direct sunlight. Now the next feature is really about taking advantage of the beautiful screen that you have on the Samsung displays. So let's go into the settings area again, and we're gonna go into display because it's just right there. And you'll notice that we have screen resolution. You're gonna change your screen resolution from FHD plus to WQHD. This is the highest possible resolution and you're gonna notice that your videos are crisper, the texts are clearer. It's just a, it just transforms your phone completely. And why not? You have the best display on the market today. Now, does it impact your battery? In my experience, it definitely impacts your battery, but it's really, really small. So take advantage of the high resolution display by changing that setting. Now, while we're in the display area, I'm gonna give you two bonus tips, things that I have on my phone. Uh, the first thing is, now that you have the highest possible setting, the next thing is to go into your screen mode. Now, you could go with natural, and the natural is going to dull down the color somewhat, and that may be something that you like, especially if you're coming from an iPhone. But if you wanna take advantage and have the colors pop, switch it to vivid, and your reds are gonna be redder, your yellows are gonna be yellow. It's gonna be a fantastic looking experience when it comes to videos, when it comes to pictures. So make sure you check that out. Now still in this area, we're gonna talk about blue light filter. Now the blue light filter, it is said that bright lights, if you're reading, especially your phone, and many of us do at night in, at our bed, it could affect uh, your sleep. So if you turn on this blue light filter, it makes it easier for you to fall asleep. And it also, if you've ever picked up the phone and kind of it's bright and it kind of makes your eyes kind of react because it's too bright, this is gonna help with that as well. So I have mine turned on where it says sunset to sunrise. So I have this filter, let me show you what happens. It kind of puts like almost like a yellow tint over things so that the whites aren't as crispy and bright and harsh. So this is something definitely that you can do by turning on sunset to sunrise with a blue light filter. Now this tip is my favorite tip and it happens to be the one that many people don't even use or know about. And that is about application shortcuts. And I'm not talking about these shortcuts that you see right here to allow you to launch it. I'm talking about really detailed shortcuts. 
Notice this, if I go into my Nest application, Nest is gonna show me all the cameras that I have in my home. That's pretty basic. But what if I wanna to go to a specific camera? My doorbell rings, I wanna see my doorbell only. Well, you notice how I have a doorbell shortcut and it takes me directly into my doorbell. How did I do that? And this works again with every app that has shortcut capabilities. All you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the app, press and hold, and then you're gonna see all the shortcuts that are available. You take the shortcut that you'd like, and then you drag it to the area of the screen that you'd wanna have that shortcut. And the next time you tap on it, instead of going to the Nest, scrolling down, finding my camera, and then clicking on it, all I do is I tap on the camera I want, and it takes me specifically to the area that I'm looking for. It's that easy. Check out your shortcuts and let me know in the comment area below which one is your favorite for your favorite app. Now this is the tip for lefties. So uh, I have several family members, cousins uh, that are lefties, and my son is also a lefty. So how do you set up your phone for those that are lefties and may wanna navigate menus differently? So let me show you this feature. So let's go down and swipe down, and then I'm gonna swipe over, and I'm gonna look at navigation. I'm gonna press and hold on navigation, and it takes me into the navigation area. Now there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can turn on your full screen gestures, which is gonna allow you to swipe. It's gonna work very similar to an iPhone. And if you are coming from an iPhone, this may be something that you may wanna use. So instead of tapping, you swipe up, to, you swipe up, and you swipe up for each one of these features. So your recent menu, your home, and your back button are all swipe up gestures. But if you are a lefty and you'd like to change the order of the buttons, notice how I have my button order here. You can actually change the way the orders work. So depending on how you hold your, your phone and how do you want to tap, your recent one first, or you want your back button first, you can actually change it. So once again, this is a great tip for those of you who are lefties. Now this feature is gonna keep your phone running fast and crispy. Let me show you. So we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into device maintenance. I'm just gonna tap that in. Okay, so here we go, our device care. And basically every single day, you can have your phone restart and also auto-optimize so that you have the fastest phone experience ever. So you notice right now it says that my phone is doing pretty well, 94% optimal. But if I go into this area, I can do auto-optimization. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna clear out all my apps and it's gonna clear out everything that's going on on my phone every day at 3 a.m. So that makes my phone, as soon as I pick it up, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be responsive. The other thing you can do is, just like PCs and Macs, um, it's always good to restart them so that you have a clear phone or a clear uh, PC or laptop. In this case, you can also do the same thing with the auto restart feature. Now the auto restart feature gives you the ability to restart your phone at any time you'd like so that again, when you pick up your phone, you have a fresh phone. So I have my phone auto optimized every day. And then I also have my phone restarting at seven, uh, at three o'clock in the morning, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So that means that it reboots itself. That means that my phone is always gonna be fast, it's cleared, it's fresh. And this is something that you can just, by tapping each one of these days, you're able to choose which days you'd like to have the restart. Now keep in mind, when you do the restart, it is going to ask you to type in your password, your PIN, uh, to get in. The fingerprint sensor will not work for that time, but it will ask you to authenticate using your PIN if you have one set up with PIN lock. So once again, this is gonna give you, again, fast experiences every single time because it auto restarts and auto reboots your phone. All right, so now this feature is going to give you the best audio experience for watching movies, watching Netflix, listening to YouTube, even audiobooks. So let's go ahead and go into our settings area once again. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna swipe and we're looking for the uh, actual Dolby Atomos. So I'm gonna press and hold in this area. Now you can tap it to turn it on, but I just wanna show you some of the features that are there. Here what you can do is turn it on and it's gonna really transform the way you listen to um, something on your phone. So if you're holding your phone like this, you'll be able to just absorb you know, the surround sound experience. You can actually set it up so that it's movie mode, music mode, or voice mode, right? or have it automatically detect. This is a feature that is not on by default, so turn it on to transform your audio experience. Now this is my number one hidden feature that you won't see anyone talk about. It's about adapting the phone to your hearing, regardless of age and regardless of your hearing ability. So let me show you how this works. So we're gonna go into settings, and there's real no shortcut, shortcut for this, so I'm gonna take you specifically um, into it. So you're gonna choose sounds and vibrations. We're gonna come down, and you'll see how hidden this is. Advanced sound settings, and then we're gonna go into sound quality and effects. So when you go in here, notice where it says adapt sound. Find the best sound for you. So I'm gonna tap it. Now in this area, most of your phones are gonna be set at default, but what you could do is set I'm under 30, and it's gonna adjust the frequencies coming out of your phone for your age group. 
uh, 30 to 60 or over 60 years old. Now what you can do is even if you're in falling within a specific age group and you hit this toggle, what you can do is you can adjust uh, and test how you hear uh, things coming through the phone. So you can adjust your left hearing and your right hearing. If neither of these settings work for you, what you can do is as long as you have um, the earbuds connected, you can actually create a personalized hearing profile just for you. And again, it doesn't matter what age you are. We may not hear 100% uh, from both ears the exact same way. This is gonna transform the way you listen to music and you have phone calls. So check out Adapt Sound. Now the next feature is gonna be about camera settings. So I just wanted to show you something about the camera. So we're gonna go into camera and we're gonna go into this button right here. This is gonna be your ratio. Now, you have different ratios. Play with the different ratios because what ends up happening is when you take the picture, you may have pictures that are boxed, right, that they have the sides are black, and as you go from each one of these settings, you go from three, four, uh, that's more Instagram-like, and if you go into this uh, 19 by 16, which is what I prefer, it gives you more of a wider picture uh, when you capture that picture. So change it to 19, uh, 916 and see how that photo experience works for you. Now the next feature in the camera setting um, has to do with scene optimization. So what I'm gonna do is I'll uh, turn this on. And what this is gonna do is when you turn it on, it is gonna give you a couple options. And this is really cool, especially if you're a business person and have to do um, take pictures of receipts to get your expense report in. So you basically have a bright night feature, which is going to identify that it's dark and it's gonna give you features so that you can actually take pictures at night. You also have a document scan, and this is the one for business people, that's going to allow you when you take your photo of your receipt, it's gonna make sure it's straight and it's not distorted. And the other thing is a starburst. And the starburst is a really neat camera effect where if you take a photo at, in a dark scene, it's gonna make the lighting that exists kind of starburst. It gives it a really nice dramatic effect. So those are some of the three features that I would remain on with the scene optimizer. So the next feature within the camera settings is the shot suggestion. And this shot suggestion is going to even help you with aligning your photo. So literally on the screen, you're gonna see a little level line saying that your hands are crooked so that you can align it. It's gonna help you align the person in frame if you want them in the center. All those things come through shot suggestion. I would check it out because it's definitely a cool feature. And the last one here is going to be flaw detection. So how many times have you taken a photo and then someone blinked or someone moved their head? So the next setting we're gonna talk about is shot suggestion. And the shot suggestion is going to even tell you if your hands are crooked and it will help you align. It's gonna literally give you a guideline and it's gonna help you align the photo. And I'll show you that in a second. It also has a feature that's called flaw detection. And the flaw detection is going to notify you if someone blinks when you're taking a photo or if they look away. So those are two features that you should turn on. Let me show you how shot suggestion works. All right, so now let me show you how shot suggestion works. You notice that there's a, that little dot there? That little dot there is telling me that that's the best position for my phone for the best photo. You'll notice that on the sides, there's that line that shows up. And that line is indicating if my phone is level or not. So once I get it in place, you'll notice it says it's level and that I'm in the center and that's the best photo. So that's what you're gonna get when you use shot suggestion. So have you ever been in a situation where you wanna do a recording or take a picture and you fumble through your phone and trying to get to that setting and it takes too long? Well, let me show you something. If we go into settings and we go into camera modes, notice this area here, it says keep using last mode. If you turn this on and you're in video mode, when you go back into your camera, it's gonna be in video mode. If you are in a specific scene mode on your camera and you go back to it, it will remember the last setting, making it easier to get back to what you wanted to do at the moment you need to. So that concludes my tips for the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10e, and S10 Plus. These are the things that I use to get the most out of my phone, and these are the things that I share with my family and friends, and I'm sharing with you too. Let me know what you thought about these tips and tricks in the comment area below, and if you have something that you'd like to share, let us know there as well, because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.